Hello everybody. This is installment two of the 1959 Evinrude Fast Twin 18 horsepower Golden Jubilee. Um, we're going to take the flywheel off and have a look at the ignition. Um, in the last video we looked through the inspection hole and saw that we still had original um, coils and condensers in there. Uh, probably still has original points in it too. Uh, don't really know. We'll see what, what it looks like when we take the uh, flywheel off, but at any rate, here we go with the flywheel removal. This strap wrench is just barely long enough to go around this flywheel, so it may give me some trouble. Yep, it's going to give me some trouble. So, I don't necessarily recommend you beat on your ratchets, but I don't have my air on, so I'm not using the impact. I probably should do that. That would make life a little easier, but we're just using hand tools for now. All right, time for the flywheel puller. Uh, this is an OMC flywheel puller. Um, the flywheel puller set is part number 378103, universal puller set. And if you're going to work on these motors, this is some of the best money you're going to spend right here. It's on this tool. It goes in the holes as it's supposed to. It's very well built, very strong, and it pops all but the most stubborn flywheels off with ease. I have a puller that I made in my shop here, uh, which works pretty well. Um, but this one, it just works for it works for all the different sizes. So uh, it also does. Uh, it has some other screws in it for gear cases and so forth, so a uh, very worthwhile tool to have. And make sure all of those shoulder screws are all the way down. This flywheel shouldn't be terribly t difficult to pull, so I'm not going to worry about the wrenches on those. But Here we go. And now we can just lift off the flywheel. Set that aside. We won't be needing that for a little while. So now let's get a closer look at that ignition. She looks pretty rough. Uh, it does appear that it still has the original points in it too, I can't say for sure, but uh, that whole ignition system appears to be original. Uh, definitely still has the original plug wires on it, those are getting real stiff. Uh, some guys will just clip the ends of those and, and reuse the wire, uh, which unless it has a pinch or somewhere where that old wire is leaking, it's okay, but uh, I prefer to just put new plug wire on when I do a... Uh, one of these magnetos. So from there um, I will start taking the mag plate off and uh, prepare to rebuild the ignition. The 
first thing I can do is take these plug wire boots off. Um, I like to use a little carburetor cleaner in there. It really does a nice job of lubricating this rubber. You're going to turn them a little bit, let that stuff get down in there, and then you can just pull them right off. Take the thermal out, set those aside, those will get reused since they are in pretty good shape. has Phillips screws in the screws that are the ones that hold it down to the mag uh, pivot the plate underneath the support plate are Phillips so those are the only four screws that we really need to take out of this right now if we just want to remove the, the magneto um, I usually like to take the, the pieces off except for the coils while it's up here because it's at a nice working height so I just removed the clip for the throttle linkage. I'll take that loose so I don't forget it. And then start working on these point screws here. eye on these little screws. They're easy to lose and hard to find new ones if you need them. Take the old condensers off. This is a coil covering in here, laying all over. These little clips, there's these little clips on top of the points. You've got to be real careful when you pull those off, too, so you don't lose them. Although, if you buy a tune-up kit, you do get new ones in there. So It's always good to keep the ones you got, though, just in case you lose one of the new ones, you have a spare. And uh, that does happen from time to time. I'm going to take the points off, remove the pivot screw, and there's a little wave washer underneath there. Keep those together, set that aside. It's starting to get greasy. I should put my pair of gloves on. And I'll pull these points out first. Pull them up off of the pivot shaft. Kind of drag on the coils a little bit. You can take the coils out first, but the points do come out okay. points out of there. All that's left on there are the coils. At this point I'll take the four Phillips screws loose that hold the mag plate down. Maybe. That one's really tight.
push them through this little guide here. And now we can lift the mag plate off. There's kill wires on this other side that are still holding me up. Slide the sleeve off the knife connector and then um, undo that one. There are two of them, one to each set of points. There we go. Okay. Now the mag needle will come off. Set that on the bench and get ready to go to work on that. Underside looks good. Uh, we'll check the uh, upper crankshaft seal while I've got it here just to make sure that it isn't leaking too bad. Um, need to get the plugs out. the flywheel nut on here so we can put a wrench on it. And then I'm going to spray some WD-40 or something. It looks like my WD-40 is oh, there. Just enough in there so you can get it up over the seal and see if it bubbles when you turn it. Seal looks good. I don't see any bubbles. That's good news. Take the flywheel nut back off of there. Put it back where it was. Okay. So there's the removal of the magneto plate. Uh, in the next video, I will tear that magneto plate apart, strip it down, clean it, and replace all the components. So until next time, thanks for watching.